Welcome, my name is Darren Thomas. I'm the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this particular video, we're gonna take a look at how to manually enroll users into a Moodle course. And when I use the word user, most of the time that's going to refer to a student as these videos are for teachers who are going to use Moodle. So as you can see, I'm already logged into my Moodle course. And if I wanna add users, I need to click on underneath the uh, administration, a little tab off to the side. I need to click on users and I need to click on enroll users. Now, as you can see, there's already one person enrolled into the class and that's myself. So this is my name, this is the last time I accessed the course and this is my role, I'm a teacher in this course. Now I do have other roles, but this is because of my administrative uh, privileges that I have in this particular Moodle course. After you look past the roles, the next thing is I can assign additional roles. Again, you know, if I wanted to, this is more of an administrative feature. I can assign people to groups, and this, it even tells me when people were added to the course. So, Darren Thomas was manually enrollment on starting from uh, Monday, December 5, um, 2016 at midnight. So, um, that is all the different options there. Now, I'm not going to explain the search features just yet. I want to show you how to actually enroll users and then I will take a look at the search features. So if you wanna actually add people to your course, you click on enroll users. Now, if you notice at the top, the assigned role is student. This means that whoever I add, they will be assigned the role of a student. Again, um, for most teachers, this is all you need to know. Of course, there are other roles but you know, it depends on, on the Moodle website and the administration. There are some options here, but they're not critical. You can recover old grades if you want. So for example, you pulled a student out of a class, but you want to put them back in or whatever. You can uh, uh, adjust the start date if you want. It, there's lots of different features here. How long they're going to be enrolled in the course, you know, for one day or forever, unlimited, et cetera. Now, to actually add people, you first have to you know, type in the name so that Moodle will search for it. And then once you find people, you click on the enroll. So I'm gonna type in some names here. So network. And so now after typing in network, we found three users. So I'm going to enroll these guys as students. When I click on the enroll button, the name moves to the right and the enroll button disappears. That's how that works. And then uh, I'll type in another name, admin, type search. And there we go. Now, everybody I just added was assigned the role of student because that's what I have highlighted in this drop down box. When you are done enrolling users, you click on finish. And as you can see, my page has changed a little bit. I added four students and they're all right here. Most of them have the same information as me. Notice how they're all enrolled as students in this particular course. Now, the, the search features at the top are also very useful. If you have like a really big class, this can be very useful to help you to find people. So you can search by name. So I'm just gonna type VPSA, click filter. And now only the person with the name VPSA is seen. When you're done, you click reset. And again, we have all the students. You can check by enrollment method, manual or guest. Um, everybody was manually enrolled, so that's not gonna benefit me. You can search by role. So I only want to see teachers. So I apply the filter. And now you can see that only, I can only see the, the person who has the role of teacher right there. Click reset again. And if they're in a group, you can put them in a group in their status, whether they're active or, in, or inactive. So that is how you add students and that's how you search. One last thing that I need to check or show you is that you can also remove people by clicking on a little circle here um, with the X in it called unenroll. And that is the, the primary features that you can use in the, the Moodle, um, the Moodle uh, adding user uh, uh, section. So one more thing I need to show you is the edit enrollment, this right here. If you click on that, it'll take you here. And you can see here, you can change the status from active to, in to suspended. So for example, perhaps you're having a behavioral problem with someone online, you can, you can suspend their status, you know, so that they stop causing problems without having to unenroll them from the class. You can also edit when they, they start the class or when their enrollment ends, et cetera. So that's it. So the main things that we learned today is that we've learned how to add users to Moodle um, using the enroll user button right here on this particular page. 
From there, I showed you how to search for different names and how to actually enroll them. And then we also took a look at the uh, how to use the filter search. This is very useful if you have like a very large class and you're trying to find people. Um, furthermore, we took a look at the different uh, the, the information that is available um, um, when you look at the individual us users, their name, when they access the course, their role. Um, you can also assign different roles to them and put them in groups, how they were enrolled. You can suspend their status if you want, edit their enrollment, or you can even unenroll them if necessary. So therefore, we hope that this video was useful for you, and we thank you for listening.